Stand up. Remember, they're shaky eggs, not throwy eggs. Stand Don't throw up. them. They're for shaking, not throwing. You ready? Stand up. Cuatro, cinco, 
Go, give me a wave. Seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Double wave. Let's do that one one more time. Here we go. We're going to start with one. What's one in Spanish? Uno. That's right. Here we go. You ready? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. What number is cinco? Cinco. Cinco is what? Five. 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 Six. Siete. Ocho. Nueve. Diez. Double wave. Good job. Give yourself a double pat mm -mm -mm. and a squeeze. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Loose. We're going to read books about parents today. This book's called Parents Too. Listen, if you can't see, you can move closer if you want to. You want to go closer? Yeah. Then go closer. Because there's a thing that wants to Carrot soup. Have you ever ate carrot soup before? No. No? Never? Oh, I carrot I do. Carrots with chicken? Yeah. Yes. I carrot soup. Thanks, carrot soup. It was spring, rabbit's favorite season. It was time to plan the garden. Order carrot seeds and look forward to enjoying his favorite food. Guess what the rabbit's favorite food was? Carrots. Carrots. I rabbit plowed the field and then he planted. What's he planting? What, what kind of seeds are is he planting? He's planting carrots. Carrot seeds. Rabbit watered and he weeded and he waited. Waited and waited. Boy, he's waiting a long time. Until finally it was time to pick the carrot. Rabbit, rabbit gathered his tools and his wheelbarrow. Look, he has a shovel and a hoe and a fork and a wheelbarrow. And then off he went. But something was terribly wrong at the carrot patch. Rabbit looked up. Rabbit looked down. He looked over and under and inside and out. Rabbit saw roots and rocks and dirt and mud, but what Rabbit didn't see were carrots. There were no carrots. They were gone. What do you think happened to his carrots? Someone took them. Who would take his carrots? He took another rabbit. Oh, another rabbit? <laughs> Rabbit went to see Mole. Mole, have you seen my carrots? Rabbit asked. Someone has stolen my carrots. And Mole replied, Rabbit, you know I don't see very well. Why don't you ask Dog? Uh-oh. Look by that tree. What is that? It's a dog. It's a dog. And what's he pushing? He's uh, pushing a wheelbarrow. He's pushing a wheelbarrow. What's the... Oh, no. Where do you think you got the carrots? From the garden. Um, dog, someone has taken all my carrots, said Rabbit. Have you seen them? Uh-oh. I don't care much for carrots, said Dog. Why don't you ask the cat? Can you see the cat? Yeah. <coughs> What's the cat carrying? Wagon. <clears throat> Not a wagon. Can you see him? He's small. I um, can't see a box. He's carrying a basket uh, full of carrots. carrots. <laughs> Where do you think he got carrots? From the garden. Uh-oh. Cat, I was hoping to have carrot soup tonight, but my carrots have disappeared, said Rabbit. Have you seen them? Carrots? Asked the cat. Why would I be interested in your carrots? Perhaps Duck knows something about the carrots. Uh-oh. There they go. They're wandering off. Rabbit asked Duck, have you seen my carrots? I prefer fish to carrots, said Duck. Pig will eat anything, though. Maybe he has seen your carrots. Oh, man. Look at the pig. What's he doing? He's carrying a bunch of them. He does. He's, what's he riding on? A tractor. He's got a tractor with a trailer. And on the trailer are what? Carrots. Carrots. But Pig was nowhere to be found. No carrot soup tonight, thought Rabbit sadly. He had counted on having carrot soup for 
for supper. Discouraged and disappointed. What does it mean if you're discouraged? Mm. What do you you want to try means? again? Maybe sometimes you try again if you're discouraged. It means that you've lost hope. Oh. You've given up. Rabbit went home. Where does the rabbit live at? A tree. I thought rabbits lived in the ground. Oh, look what he found when he went in the house. A birthday party with soup. Who do you think made the soup? A cat. And? Who all took carrots? All of them. They did, all of them. Except I didn't see the horse take any. Or this deer, or whatever that is. Moose it's a deer! It's a surprise, they said! It's a surprise party! Ooh, look at the bear. He's got big teeth. Ah. Would you like to eat supper with a bear? Ah. Yeah. So, did they steal his carrots? Yes. But what did they do with them? They made him some yeah. carrot soup. You have a what? Oh, you have a cough? Okay, well, don't cough on me. Go tomorrow to get a shot. <laughs> My husband went yesterday. He has a really sore arm, so I'm just like, I don't know if I'm going to get that. Okay, cool. Who knows what shape that is? A heart. A heart. How about this carrot? What shape is that? A circle. A circle. And this carrot? A triangle. <laughs> How about this carrot? What shape is that? A triangle. Not a triangle. A square. A square. Ooh, how about this one? What shape oval. is that carrot? Oval. Oval. Let's try this one. What shape is that? Rectangle. A rectangle. How about this one? What shape is this one? Oh, anybody know what shape this is? I don't know what it is. Triangle. Not a triangle. He doesn't have a top. I don't know. Okay, let me see. Here he is. He is called a trapezoid. Isn't that a cool name? Can you say that? A trapezoid. A trapezoid. And this one is an oval. What else is an oval shape? Tires. Tires. If tires were oval shaped, you'd be like this. Tires are circles. Right. But an oval looks like an egg. It kind of looks like an egg. How about a square? What kind of things are square? Windows. Sometimes windows are square. A box could be square. How about a triangle? What kind of things look like a triangle? Sometimes they look like that if they're a triangle. What, what kind of things look like a triangle? Tires. Not tires. Tires can't be a triangle. What kind of things would be a triangle? You'll have to look for triangles today. How about a circle? What kind of things are circles? Tires. Tires. And you want a circle tire. If you don't have a circle tire, it's not going to be a very good ride. How about a rectangle? What What is the shape of a rectangle? Oh, that's a, that's a tire. You came through one to get in here. What is a rectangle shape? Door. The door. That's right. How about a diamond? What kind of things are a diamond shape? Diamond. Diamond. Diamond shape? Sometimes, you know, when you play baseball. I know what they are. Okay, what shape is this? Heart. It's a heart. Okay, this one's called Cowboy is Not a Cowboy. Okay. Listen, scoot over here. We're going to play over here. We're not playing this. Scoot over here. Remember his story. On Humdrum Farm, where nothing ever happened, chickens lay extraordinarily average eggs. Pigs 
Roll in the mud only when necessary, never for fun. And goats eat very boring food, except for one goat girl. While a humdrum goat would be satisfied eating a cardboard box, Goat Girl practices the art of French cooking. I present a ratatouille coven cow with caramelized onion souffle. Bon appetit, she said. You know what that means? Bon appetit. Enjoy your food. When the humdrum goats wouldn't play a game of chicks can with Goat Girl, you're not supposed to eat it. She invented her own game. Oh, what did she dress up like? Rah! Says rah! She's kicking the can like a dinosaur. And when the humdrum goats closed lookout rock over their fear of heights, Goat Girl found a new solution. What's she doing? Why not an airplane? That's not an airplane. What is yeah, that? It's not an airplane. It's a hot air balloon. They put hot air in there and it floats up in the sky. There was nothing humdrum about Goat Girl. On humdrum day, she saw something new. What did she see through her telescope? Cow. Oh, Merle actually wasn't new. He was the oldest animal on the humdrum farm, but he kept to himself. Every morning, every night, through every type of weather. Oh. Look at him. What's he covered in? No. <laughs> Can you tell he's a cow? Yes. He was very humdrum. Hello, cowboy. My name is Earl, and I'm not a cowboy, he said. Are you a cow? I am a bull. What is a bull? A bull is a cow who is a boy. See, you are a cowboy. Howdy, cowboy, she said. Merle was not amused. He proceeded to explain exactly why he was not a cowboy. I am not adventurous. I am not brave. And I may be allergic to horses. The power of you, Goat Talks. Goat Girl told Merle that he could be a cowboy if he wanted to and proceeded to explain why with a persuasive 30-minute audio-visual presentation. It didn't work. Listen, Goat Girl, for the last time, I am not a cowboy. What's he wearing on his head? I was, it was true, Merle was not a cowboy, uh -huh. but a young bull, that was his dream. Yah, yah, giddy up, giddy up, giddy up. A dream he had long forgotten. Oh, my goodness. Ow, 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 ow. A dream he didn't want to remember. Oof, flop. He tried to be a cowboy once and he landed on a cactus. Uh-oh, what happened when he landed on the cactus? Oh. Yeah, I got poked to get his pickers in there. Another humdrum day. It would have stayed a humdrum day, except something unusual was happening on the farm. The farmer had forgotten to close the chicken coop. Uh-oh, he left the door to the chicken coop open. What do you think is going to happen? It's going to flush out. Oh, no. That was very un-humdrum. The chickens forgot about laying extra extraordinary average eggs and were overcome by the only thought a free-range chicken could have. Crossing the road. A dangerous road. Look at all those cars. Should the chickens cross the road? Thank you for picking that up. Go Girl sprang into action to stop the chickens. Merle did nothing. Go Girl tried to round them up with her horse. Look at her horse. Is that a real horse? What kind of horse is that? Big horse. It is. It's like a stick horse. Merle did nothing. Go Girl tried to distract them with her French cooking, and Merle still did nothing until he had enough. It was time to do something. What do you think he's going to do? Cowboy. Oh look! <laughs> what is he? Cowboy. He's a cowboy. Howdy, ladies. Sorry to interrupt your trailblazing adventure, but that road down yonder is closed. I need to ask y'all to turn to the farm in an orderly fashion. Thank you kindly. Merle, you did it. 
You round it up and save the chickens from danger. You are a... Don't say it, he said. Cowboy! Does he look excited to be a cowboy? Yeah. I don't think so. The next day, everything was back to being hoed home on Humdrum Farm. The chickens still had to lay extraordinarily average eggs. The pigs rolled in the mud only when necessary, never for fun. And the ghosts continued a diet of foreign and bland food. But if you were quiet and listened closely, the fields of Humdrum were in a new sound. One goat girl and one cowboy, who was not a cowboy, we're both having a very humdrum good time. Look, is he a cowboy? No. What is he? He's a dinosaur. He's a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Stand up, we're gonna move. All right. Sow 
has piglets. Aw, look. The, the girl pig is called a sow. And this farmer helps. Look how cute they are. Yeah. Well, they're, they're piglets. They're baby pigs. Time to get in the tractor. There are crops to plant. The farmer spread, spends his day in the field. Look, he has a planter on the back of his tractor. And in those little white things, he has seeds. Oh no, the tractor broke down. That's okay, the farmer can fix it. Look, there he is on the back of the tractor fixing it. In the fall, the heart, they, he harvests the crops. And he works really late at night time. Farmers have a lot of jobs, and they are all important. Do you want to do farm jobs? Would you like to scoop up manure? You would? You'd probably be the only one in the whole room that would want to do that. You would. Okay, listen. This is what we're going to do. First thing you need to do is put your cushion away and find a seat at the table.